Hi everyone, um, my name is Carrie, and I am also known as the patient, patient stitcher. Um, I've been gone a very, 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 very long time. Um, I have had so much happening in my life, and as you can tell, I'm also sick again, which I'll get to that eventually, but um, I've had so much to share, and I've just been piling things up and piling things up and wanting to get back to... Um, doing some videos because I miss everybody. Um, I miss being able to tell everybody what I'm doing, which wasn't a whole lot, not gonna lie. Um, so let me just get to this. Today is um, the 21st of December. The last time I did a video was in May, so it's a very, very, very long time ago. Um, I wanted to thank all of you who've been patiently waiting for me to upload a video, um, and for anybody who's reached out to me, um, just, in general asking questions on how we've been doing and um, I appreciate that and I appreciate you and I appreciate you coming back and um, and just being supportive of me and my channel and my family and just there's a lot that's happened so I guess I probably should go back a little bit um, if you don't want to hear how things have gone or done um, it's taken me a long time to get back to my channel, to my stitching. Um, as we all know, in May, I went to a funeral for my grandmother. Um, she passed away last year, or earlier this year, and um, she had a brain aneurysm, and she just, it was nice to be able to go see some family. It was a very emotional trip for me. Um, many of you don't know, but when I was in the military, I just kind of joined the military when I was younger, um, and I didn't, um, I didn't look back. I really felt like I just needed to move forward. My family, I don't know, I kind of, there was a different time in my life. I was very young, and um, I just had kind of moved forward. I left my whole family behind here on the East Coast, and I uh, joined the military, and uh, started my own my own life and uh, so while I was on this trip to my grandmother's house um, and stayed with my aunt my aunt Tammy she was wonderful she reminds me of my mom which is a whole nother a whole nother um, event in my life that happened this year um, I'm gonna try hard not to get emotional because it's just been a very hard year um, and I got to see my aunts which I had not seen in probably close to 30 years um i got to at least see them and say hi to them i will probably post some photos um it was a phenomenal visit with all of them i did miss one because she lives in um, wisconsin so i did not get to see her but the ones that i had not seen in many many years um i got to visit um during our covid moments my grandmother also my maternal grandmother passed away uh, my dad's mom I went and got to see her grave and my grandfather's grave and my great-grandmother's grave um, these are things I've missed while I've been gone uh, the military does some amazing things but what it does do also is separates you from the people that you love very much and you know for all those military people out there I bless you I bless you for everything that you do the moments you're away from your family and um, those are hard times. I know that I have spent a, quite a lot of times away from my own family, and I wish I could get them back, but you do what you have to do in order to um, survive and um, do, what you, do what you signed up to do. Um, the military changed my whole entire life, and I will never, ever um, deny that for one moment. I enjoyed it very much. Um, there's just things that you wish you could, you could, you can't always have your cake you need it to, okay? We'll go there. Um, so I came back from that. I did do some stitching, but not much. Um, I just found a lot of, like, revelation in my family, and um, that really just brought back just a lot of emotions. And for some reason, I stitched. I lost my stitchy bug. Um, I had brought some crocheting stuff with me to on my trip I mean, it was a very long and exhausting trip that's all I'm just that was exhausting um, move my computer back a little bit um, and then actually what I really needed more than anything in the world was a trip like 
we'd all dealt with COVID. We'd all dealt with obviously passing deaths like things. And my best friend and I planned a trip to Vegas. That was the best trip I could have possibly ever imagined for the time, um, for the time period. It just, it was great. We all needed it. Um, we did go, we had some fun. We honestly really didn't even gamble that much. It was fabulous. Um, uh, my best friend and I just know how that, I call her my, my Thelma to my Louise. So that's just how it goes. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful person to be around. Uh, I just suggest something and she does it, so it's pretty fabulous. Um, everybody needs one of them. If you don't have one of them, you need to find one of them. <laughs> um, Laura and I went on, I went and picked up our rental car, and I asked the gentleman, I said, uh, you know, I was really kind of hoping for Thelma Louise moments with my best friend. He'd give me something, you know, one of those cheap cars, whatever you rent, like months in advance. So I, I did that, and he actually got us a convertible. So if I can, I'll post a few photos of that. Um, I took my best friend on a trip of a lifetime, really. We went and saw the um, Red Rock Canyons. We went and saw Area 51 or wherever they, you're not allowed to go. So we got to a point of Area 51, totally up my alley. I love I love anything that has to do with that kind of stuff. Um, and then we actually got to see, so I took her to, um, I also took her to the Grand Canyon, or not Grand Canyon, but to the, um, oh gosh, I'm going to forget, it's, um, Arizona and Nevada, it's, uh, the dam, the Hoover Dam. Her family actually has a lot of ties in California, not only to the Hoover Dam, but to another place that we visited in Nevada, which is, um, really really cool and again I'm gonna start posting some of the things that I do um, some photos so you can see just how much fun it really was so not only did I take her to the dam I then took her to the other side of the you know in California um, to uh, goodness gracious I'm gonna lose my brain because I'm obviously still recovering from being sick again um, to the desert to the salts um, really hot anyway I can post us some more photos of that too so we pretty much took a whirlwind trip we did go down to Fremont Street um, we enjoy Vegas um, it's just you don't sleep you enjoy and have fun this trip I just wanted to make it even more memorable because we didn't really want to be around all of the people in all of the places that we went to were really not as there wasn't a lot of people there which was perfect for us um, so we did that, came back, um, school was getting ready to start, um, we were in a mad rush to obviously try to find some place for my granddaughter to go to daycare. Little did we know, along with everything else in life, there was a huge daycare store shortage. Well, guess what? We had the hardest time. She was on six wait lists. Um, finally someone called us and, um, we had just gotten her into daycare. Or was it before then? Mm, yeah, we had, I think in September. Um, I still had not been stitching. I will tell you that I might have stitched on one project, which is going to be coming up soon, which I'm actually very thoroughly excited about finishing. Um, I got a phone call from my sister. And my mom has been in and out of the hospital several different times. Um, one for a quad bypass in like 2018, I do believe. Um, she did phenomenal. She did fine. Um, she recovered, but there were several other things after that surgery that she needed to go. I was there for that. Um, obviously this was pre COVID. Um, but yes, it was, it was an interesting time in our, all of our lives and we're just, um, but I did get a phone call in end of, uh, uh, beginning of August. Uh, my mom had passed out, and um, they don't believe she was, um, she was just having a really hard time breathing. Um, this is not uncommon with the things that my mom said had happened to her, because um, with the quad bypass, and then she had an arctic surgery, and then she had a, a, um, a cage in her neck because of, because of the stuff that was happening to her. 
And then um, not only was she doing that, she also had had um, a gallbladder surgery. I'm telling you, she had a lot of things happening to her. Um, my mom had gotten COVID. Um, my mom had been put on a ventilator in the um, early August. Um, and it, it was touch and go for a very long time. And then, excuse me for my stuffy nose. Um, I might pause the video a little bit and then go from there. But um, she ended up having um, pneumonia, COVID pneumonia. She woke about four days before her birthday. Um, she then had turned 60 on the 29th of August. And then we ended up getting a phone call a few days later after she had turned 60. We all never really got to talk to her, but we did get to kind of video chat with her, and, and uh, she's still intubated. So um, on September 3rd, my mom and actually passed from COVID. Uh, I never did get to see her. I did get to talk to her. Um, just tell your loved ones you love them. Keep them around as long as you can. Um, you know, eventually things do happen in life and they, unfortunately, you know, we come into the world and, and passing is unfortunately the next thing that we do. I mean, we have our families, but sometimes you just don't feel like you have enough time. So, um... Two of the very important people, three of the very important people in my life, both my grandmothers and my mom, um, left within a year. And so it's just very hard. Um, in September, um, we finally got Smushy, as one of my friends likes to call her. We got her daycare, which was extremely exciting. Um, and we got her in there, just not even... I don't even think she was in daycare a week, and she got sick. So since we've had her in daycare in September, the middle of September, Smushy has been sick a good 50% of the time. And every time Smushy gets sick, Mimi seems to be the one that handles a lot of it and gets sick also. So with that being said, um, September came, and our 19-year-old cat, Penelope, who's been with us almost her whole life. She had been failing quite miserably. So I'm sorry if this video sounds like that's all I talked about was death, but sorry. I do have to grab my tissue. Um, I just, she could, I couldn't handle it anymore. She was losing weight. She's lost six pounds in four months. She was just nothing but skin and bones. And honestly, I don't even know what to tell you what happened. I really don't. I don't think anybody knows what happened. Um, but we unfortunately had to make the decision. And so um, the, we ended up finally having to put Penelope down. Um, since then, I honestly really don't even know what's happened. Not much stitching. Um, I have, believe it or not. Let's just get into some really good stuff. I've been watching some serious floss tube over the last three months. When I'm sick, I watch you. Thank you. Um, I have so many to mention. I probably am going to miss everybody, but I don't. Some of my favorites haven't even been doing floss tube for a really long time. And it wasn't even until I started watching floss tube again after being gone for so many months that I realized that some of my people that I really watched a lot haven't been doing floss tube for like a year. So for those people that haven't been doing it, we miss you. I just want you to know that. We miss you. We miss watching your videos. We miss hearing about your children. We miss hearing about everything in your life. So if you are watching, probably not the people I watch, but you never know, right? If you're watching and you haven't done one, I just want you to know you're missed. If you haven't got any messages, you're missed. The floss tube community, the cross stitch community, we thrive on. I don't have any cross stitch friends. You are my cross stitch friends. So please understand that um, I do this because 
I don't have anybody else to share it with. And I really love what I do. Um, I really love what I do. And I really love sharing it with people who are like-minded. And um, I mean, I wish I did have a, a close cross-stitch friend. Um, but I don't. And that's okay. I try to uh, share it with all the people who know and love and understand how much work really goes into these things. So, um, let's start off with, um, a new start. Did I have, I don't even know if I had more than one new start, but I did have a new start and I'm actually going to change some things around. So this is Lizzie Kate's, um, 100 years and this is actually probably a phenomenal way to start because 100 years from now, it will not matter what kind of car I drove, what kind of house I lived in, how much I had in my bank account, nor what my clothes look like. But the world may be a better place because I was important in the life of a child. So I started this yesterday, I do believe. Um, I didn't get very far because I'm actually not really happy with the DNC color that was chosen for the chart because I think they're too close. So I'm going to rip it out and I'm going to fix what I did. I mean, I did get pretty good. This is really pretty. But these are supposed to be offset from this. It's actually supposed to be like a color like this, but it's not. So I'm going to rip it out today and possibly see about getting a color that's maybe not quite the same but a color that's different from this one. But yeah, that's where I got from yesterday's start. Yesterday my husband and I drove to a um, Altoona, which was kind of cool. I was going to try to go to a stitching store there, but um, more stitches. I don't even actually know if she's open. I haven't been down there in a very, very long time. Um, so we just went... Um, so y'all know, I am the Christmas shopper that's usually done in October. I have not bought anything. I have been just that sick. My granddaughter is sick shorter time than I am, and I just take a longer time to recover. And she keeps giving this to me. She's had three viruses. We've checked for COVID. That poor kid's been tested for COVID like 8 million gazillion times. Um, me, on the other hand, I've been tested. No one's positive, so... I just feel like it's constantly going to happen. I mean, it's eventually going to happen in my opinion, but just not. I don't want to, I just don't want it to happen now. Um, another stitch that I actually, um, this one came up quite a lot this year. I actually put a quite a lot of stitches. I think when I did my WhipGov 2021, I put 10,000 stitches in this thing. And hence the reasons why I believe it's as far as it is. So, I stitched and worked on A Christmas in London by Mirabilia. Um, I'll show you a picture right now where I was at when I started this. And, while I pull it out, you can see. It is not complete. This is not, this is not finished. You can kick me in the butt later because technically it should be finished, but it is not. So. This is where I'm at with it. Let me get it in the right position. She is technically almost finished. Yes, I did finish her. And you guys can enjoy my ugly sweater, by the way. When I'm not feeling good, I've had this sweater for probably 30 years. This is my go-to sweater. Let's get back to my Christmas in London. So, as you can tell, here she is in all her glory. I'm trying to like get her in here. She is heavily, heavily beaded. Someone I know actually counted their bead stitch on their stuff. I can't even begin to think about it. She is so gorgeous. So, where we are at and what I need to do to finish. I worked on her. I was working on her. Um arm piece right here just back stitching she has some gorgeous beading in the back she has some beautiful beading in her hair the clock is over here it needs to be done and back stitched 
The Christmas tree just needs to be finished. Check that ring out. Oh my gosh, look at the sun still setting. It's so cool. My husband is not like the most amazing, but he loves this piece. I was really impressed with how much he loved this piece. So I need to finish the Christmas tree. I need to finish the clock. And then I need to finish the chandelier. There's a little bit of backstitching over here. And there's some more beading in the curtain. But the beading is in the curtain. It's kind of cool. And it goes really fast. So I really don't, I mean, when I tell you the beading in this thing, is absolutely ridiculous. There is so much beading in this. This is like the most insane beading piece. And I've only beaded a couple pieces. We'll see if I can pull it out this next week and get enough energy to really get her done. Because I really would love to have this done in 2021. If not, then she'll go into 2022. I've just been... Waiting for a very long time. Don't you see? Look at the shame. Hmm. It's okay. So that was Christmas in London. I did work on this for a good portion of the time after I finished another piece, which I can't wait to show you guys. Um, something else I did. Okay. I like to play the shame game with myself. So I started this piece. I've been, I've been wanting to start a chatelaine for the longest time. I don't even know if I have a photo of, sorry about that guys, it's like so loud. I don't even actually have a finished photo of this to actually show you. So if I do find one, I'll post it before I show you this. This isn't even progress, okay? I put 600 stitches in this. What you're about to see here is the shame game of myself because I didn't read directions fully. Can you even tell? Here. I don't even know if you can even tell. Oh, there's a little bit of remnants on it. It's a big piece of fabric. And right here in the center, there's a whole like 600 stitches. Actually, look at that. You can still see some of the stitches. Look at that. There was 600 stitches in here. And I was proud as could be. However, let's just say this would be a new start again in 2022. Because I had to restart it because I was stitching the one over one, not the two over two. And would not have met, it would not have been a very good piece for this. But you know what? I figured I'm gonna share with you the same stuff that anybody else does. Oh, there's a hot mess. Yes, let's fix ourselves here. Oh, by the way, should have told you to grab something. It's gonna be quite, I don't wanna say it's a long video, but man, I got some serious haul, you ladies and gentlemen. You know how to enable somebody so bad. I've been enabled a little too much in my opinion, but. So. That'll just go into the finishes that I actually did. And believe it or not, I have more than one. So for someone who hasn't actually finished anything in a long time, when I got back to cross-stitching, which is actually only about a month ago, um, which stitch actually made the best comment. Like, I don't know how it happened. Like, I just wasn't stitching, and I just wasn't this, and I just wasn't that. And he's 100% correct. That is exactly what happened to me. By the way, he's stitching on one of my favorite pieces, the Amid Amish Life. That is still one of my favorite pieces. And could be a finish for me, just, just so you know. Um, but he did an amazing thing um, and, and really brought it to life about he only got like a, st some stitches in here and some stitches in there and how it's okay if we take a break. Yeah, I think it's okay to take a break, but let me just tell you, my whips were still waiting for me. So when I came back, I, um, I really, really, really wanted to to finish something. So I went through and, well you didn't, don't get to see because I can't find them as my reindeer. Um, I worked on Donner and Donner is pretty much almost finished. I can't find him at the moment because he's missing, probably because he's with Santa trying to prepare for Christmas Eve for, for all of us. But, hmm, here nor there. I'll find him eventually. Um, but he did get a lot of work. He's totally almost finished, minus the one, four, three, two, number four braid that is totally missing in every possible place known to man. Um, and I'm waiting on a wait list in three different spots. 
Then I can finish him. Then I can go on. Here and there. I worked on a waxing moon design. I actually started this. Um, I do believe this was a mania start. I would want to say in 2019. And I'd only had this. I'll show you a picture here in just a second. But guess what? It's even better in person. So I stitched this on a 28 count Lugana. Um, this is actually from Under the Sea Fabrics. Ophelia was the name. Check her out. Isn't she cool? This was actually a really fun stitch. This was pretty cool. I had a blast stitching this. It was absolutely... And I was sick. So most of the time I'd be like, I don't know, I'd get a cookie done. And I'd come back I'm like, Ugh, I don't feel like doing anything. And then I'd get a little bit more energy and I'd do another cookie or a mint. And I'd come back and... So this stayed by me for like the last week and a half since I've been sick. And, uh, yep, finally got her done. I'm really super, super excited. This was my latest finish. Um, again, that's a waxing moon design called Christmas Pounds. Totally fun. It was a really fun stitch. It was a cute stitch. It was, it was a whatever you want to call it, but it was a blast. It was so much fun to do. It was so much fun to complete. Um, the next one I completed, actually, this was... The second one it completed was Nora Corvette. Um, I think this is on the Christmas Eve Couriers. That also goes with the reindeers that I've been working on. This is Santa's sleigh. And I love, this is my favorite piece right here. I love, I don't know what it is, but I think it's the back stitching. Not going to lie. I think it's the back stitching. Um, oh. I can't tell you what this is because my granddaughter ripped off the tag. But, you want to talk about some beads? I just love bling. Bling is amazing! <laughs> Who doesn't love bling? This is the coolest, as I was telling you. This was the tags. I just love the tags on these things. I don't know why. I love the green through the sleigh. Yep. You would have laughed at me. And this is why I was trying to do some completed ones, or semi-completed, because all I really had to do was this over here. I had to bead. Let me cut this in half. I had to bead this section. I had to bead down here. I had to bead this and bead this. That was it. That was all I had to do. That was it. To finish. So yeah, I'm looking for some projects that I was, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for projects that I absolutely needed to get some things done. Um, and I found a few of them, which was phenomenal. Now, for one of the coolest pieces, I know actually a lot of you followed me because of this, and I think it's because everybody just loves this design, um, and I'd already mentioned that Blitch Stitch is working on it too. Um, actually, he probably has already finished. Um, I think I saw a recent post on Instagram, and I do believe he think he's so close. I know he's not scrolling anymore, so I think that's good. He does the diagonal stitch, and that's really... I've tried it, um, but by doing some of that stitching, I've learned that I can do other stitching also, and uh, I've learned how to do it better, and uh, just made it a lot easier on myself, which is fantastic. Um, but, the third piece is done, tending the garden. I did not remove this piece, which I know I mentioned in a video before. I just left the pattern the way it is. And I will tell you, the apple tree in the back has some seriously large French knots. But I was like, you know what? All apple trees aren't created equally, right? So if they have small ones, large ones, doesn't matter, right? Whatever, it's my, it's my farm. Who cares? But I'm still in love with the little chickens. I was in love with the little chickens when they were on my other piece. So, now all three pieces are finished. If I can find all three pieces, have them all in a bin, I will, uh, well, actually, you know what? The fence. I absolutely just, it wasn't a hard stitch. 
I mean, this down here really got crazy. This was a lot of confetti. Um, this changing on the top wasn't too, too bad. But this piece kept me together for a few months. This is the piece I picked up when nothing else would work. So it doesn't seem like a very big piece, but this is a great finish for me. I have all three completed now, and um, until we move, I do not know if I'll actually frame this. Um, we are planning on moving in 2023, I think 2023. Um, we will not be residing in Pennsylvania anymore. I do believe we're moving to Alaska, where we don't know. Um, we lived in Alaska for a very long time, and um, when we went, oh, I forgot to even say something. Uh, we went to visit my daughter in July. Um, it had been a while since we got to see anybody, and uh, we flew to Alaska. We flew to our best friend's wedding in Homer. It was beautiful. Um, see, that's why I was trying to tell you. I have so much to tell you. It's been so long. Um, it was gorgeous. I couldn't even... It, the day was unbelievable. Homer, Alaska had been riddled with rain and cold and everything else and yeah it was insane um i just can't believe how gorgeous it was it was unbelievable um we did travel with, with smushy and my daughter emma and they did phenomenal they did really 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 good um but man when did you travel oh they lost our luggage huh, that's a whole other ball game um, we will not travel during COVID anymore. Um, we did enough traveling, and uh, I just feel like I just don't want to be around people that much, and, and it's starting to spread again here, and this was in July. Um, I just, hopefully we all find a way for this to, the insanity to stop. That's, that's what I've been calling it, the insanity. Um, so we did get to see my daughters. Um when we did go to Alaska, one of my daughters had been tested positive for COVID, so we did not get to see her. Um, the people she stayed with, though, were amazing because they knew we traveled really, really far to get to her. Um, so they gave us some chairs outside, um, and she would speak outside her window. So she'd have her window, and we'd put a bag or something. She loves bagels, and she loves stuff like she couldn't eat, you know, taste anything, but... Um, so we'd leave little treats for her outside of her window, and she'd open up her window and then um, get the food and be able to communicate with us and at least talk with us. So we spent several days, you know, outside her window talking with her and at least getting to see her. And um, and then we did get to spend some time with our other kids too, which was really phenomenal. Um, yeah, I just totally forgot. Alaska's our place. I really do. We went there. And again, my heart was just overwhelming. Um, we, I've spent many, many, many years there. Uh, two of my four children were born in Alaska. And uh, yeah, I just don't... No one, nothing's pulled me like Alaska has pulled me. Now, could it change between now and then? Yes. Um, my husband and I are planning a hike, the Appalachian Trail. Um, some of you may have heard it, may not have heard it over 2,000 miles of hiking um, March of 2023 my husband and I are stopping everything we're doing and we're going on the longest hike ever so um, I just celebrated my birthday last month my husband will celebrate his coming up and then we both turn 50 in 2020 I turned 50 in 2022 my husband turns 50 in 2023 Will we end in September when he turns 50? I don't know. But I really think that there's a time in your life when you can make really kind of drastic decisions. And I thought moving here was drastic enough from Alaska and giving up everything and then recreating and restarting. And But honestly, it puts a new perspective on your life and what's important and what's not important. So we're going to do this while we can. We're going to do this when we have a chance. Um, just like our six-week trip across country. Um... Thinking about it, though, I thought about bringing a stitching project with me. Will I have time for it? Who knows? Um, the only thing we're really going to be doing is hiking. Hiking, 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 which 
I absolutely love doing. So if you hear about that a lot between now and then, which technically is only about a year and a few months away, um, you'll understand. I'm definitely thinking about um, posting some videos in regards to it because I think it's such a journey that changes people. And um, I think if you don't know what you're going to do and where you're at in life, what a great way to like really just refocus and re-energize yourself. So, I've already gone off on the beaten path. You've already seen my finishes. I really don't have a whole lot of updates on whoops because I have I, the ones I did work on I finished. But let me just tell you something. Haul has been an amazing thing and everybody has contributed to this. Um, let's see. I do believe this is... So I ordered some stuff from 123 Stitch. I do believe this is in regards to... This is for... I wish this is what I needed. Sorry for the bad crinkling. But this is not. This is for... This is the Krynik for the reindeer. Is that really... It's like a teal color. It's not showing up very well in here. And so are these. These are all the beads that are coming up for the next two reindeer. So my favorite so far, I think, is this one. I just saw these the other day. This literally just came in. It was probably the fastest order I've ever had. It's not the color. I was thinking about changing out the beads for other things, but um, I did not do so. Because I already started with Mill Hill, so. Like little flowers. How cool is that? I think those are cool. It's actually really focusing good. So I got some beads, and I got some Krynik. Or not Krynik, but I got some. This is for, I know what this is for. The water lilies. I love this. This is one of my favorites. I think I still have plenty, but I've also got how many reindeer to... i got so many reindeer to stitch still. And I've got another one just to be safe. So these are for the reindeer. Excuse me. And I have more. I purchased all these. I do believe these are for another piece that I've got coming up. So I actually... Right. This is crimson. Totally crimson, you can tell. This is Gentle Arts Maple Syrup. Should have brought my board out. Merlot. Who doesn't like a good wine? It's really beautiful. Twilight. I like this one. Ritz. Perfect. This one is collards. Perfect. And some white lightning. Which looks really close to the grits. Well, maybe not. No, oh, they're definitely different. And then some more gentle arts. We got wood smoke and balsam fire. Which I love this green. This is like, this is not even showing up like right. So those are going in projects, which you're going to see here shortly too, because guess what? So I also purchased some, this is some Jobelin Even Weave. I had the list out, but I didn't. It's also from 123 Stitch. Believe it or not, these are going on projects. I actually purchased Fabric 4 projects, which is impressive for me because normally I just purchase, well, maybe I didn't totally purchase them for projects because guess what? As you'll see here shortly, um, I think I purchased this. I love this one. This is Vintage Belfast Linen um, Country Mocha. Oh, so many floss tubers are using this right now. Oh my goodness. But this is crazy. Look at how beautiful this is. And yes, it's a big piece of fabric. Do you believe I almost got one yard? I did. I got one yard of it. 
Um, it's going to go for a couple projects. Um, that's not good enough. But there's a lot of floss tubers using that. Also from one, two, three stitch. So if you ever see someone who gets a little overzealous when they order things, they just keep putting things in the cart. I've done it so many times over this past month. So I purchased Dancer. It'll be one of the next reindeer I start this year. And I purchased Blitzen. So these will be the next two reindeer I put on the I put on my one piece, which you'll see eventually. Oh! And I purchased another Blitzen. Someone's gonna get lucky eventually. Because this wasn't the only thing I duplicated. If it was fabric, it wouldn't be a big deal, right? I also had noticed that someone had stitched this, and I, I, who can, who can ever, like, ever pass up a Lizzie Kate, right? This has actually been out of stock, like, so many times. Finally, I said it was in stock, and I got it. Dear Santa, I've been good all year. Okay, most of the time. Once in a while, forget it. I'll just buy my own presents. I couldn't help it. So, um, I'm going to get finally a farm girl. She was actually interviewed by Sambri Stitches. And she, I do believe, is doing this one. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is why. Enabling. Goodness gracious, people. She got hers from her little LNS. However, my little LNS is, like, I do have one, which I'm going to bring it up here shortly. Um, she is a phenomenal shop owner. It's called Stitch Your Art Out. Um, she does a lot. Her name is Cynthia. She does a lot of, she has some cross stitch stuff in her area, but she does a lot of quilting stuff. She has a lot of everything. She didn't have this, because trust me, I went there. Um, but she's stitching the Foxwood Crossings, cross stitch designs. This little sled. She did a stitch along. However, the sleds are like, you can't get the sleds right now. But of course, do you think I could get one? No, I had to get two. Hmm. Imagine that. Because one was never enough. You have to get two, right? Well, when I realized that I'm sure you've all known or read that I love Santa, I had to pick up the Santa one too. How cool is that? So some of those threads are going for these. Um, the Merlot, the Crimson, the color, the Collards, the Twilight, the White Lightning, and Grits go for this one. So I will be doing it in the uh, Weeks Dye Works colors. Again, a little overzealous. Hit the button twice. <laughs> oh well, like I said, someone might get lucky. Maybe if I actually get some sleds, I might make it a, might make it something more interesting. So as I was telling you, for the shop owner, Stitch Your Art Out, I did go there. Um, I actually went there for fabrics because I was running out. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I have nothing to put these fabrics on. But I just, I just went there just because. So I got a 28-count linen. It didn't have a name on it. I got um, this one right here was a 32. I'm usually a big 32-count person. She has someone who dyes their own, and then they bring them in and this one really isn't marbled or anything it's just really beautiful color now this one on the other hand I couldn't pass this one up it's a smaller piece it's a 28 count linen but check out this I couldn't pass it up it couldn't stay there it had to come home with me I don't know what I'm gonna put on it but it didn't matter it had to come home with me anyway and then I found this 32 count which I just love this color oh it's not coming up at all oh no Hmm, that's horrible. Let's see if I can get something to make it work. Yeah, it's a little bit better. There you go. See, like that tea leaf? This is really what it looks like. With the sun coming in on it. Like that color right there. I'm trying to see if I can make it happen, but it's not working. So, um, do I know what to put on this? If I stitched mermaids... I would definitely do that with a mermaid. However, I don't really stitch mermaids, so I don't even know what to... Oh, actually, that big, big piece that I showed you guys was for Into the Woods, which I haven't seen. 
it's a whole other ball game. So while I've been on my little stitching, non-stitching, I told y'all watch a lot of floss too. Jan from Jan Hicks creates, excuse me, um, a long time ago, like in May, when I stopped doing my own videos because I just had a lot of things happening. I feel bad because she, I entered one of our contests, this is when we were doing oh, stitch con, there was a whole bunch of things happening. She ended up getting this, um, I put my name in for it, and I actually won it. So Jan, thank you if you ever did watch my videos, but, um, I just really, she's really down to earth. She's fun to watch. I do not stitch a lot of the th same things she stitches, but you know what? It's not about stitching the same things. It's really honestly about, I feel very vested. So she's soon going to go visit her two sons and one of her sons is cooking Christmas dinner for the first time. Um, I'm very excited to hear how it went. Um, so Jan, please share, because I really, like, I have children who are all finally going on their own, and I'm excited for that first Christmas that one of my daughters cooks it all or does something. Um, those things excite me. Um, so yes, so thank you, Jan. I got this from Heartstring Sampler, a token for my friend. Um, I'm actually going to stitch this for my best friend, Laura. I really think that she'll enjoy this. So this will be on my stitching for 2022. But not only did that, she did the 12 Days of Christmas. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Hands down, some of the best times, because you really just got to really see um, comments from other people. It was the coolest, the coolest thing. And so I think I got day four. And mine was, the question pretty much was, when do you put up your tree? Um, I used to make sure on Thanksgiving Day, as soon as everybody was done with dinner, I would bring back the, um, the tree and I started putting it up because guess what? All my kids were home. Like all my kids were there. They weren't asking to go to someone's house. And the, you know what I mean? And that was my time. And especially when they got older, especially when they were coming into the house and they just leave right after Thanksgiving and they all knew, they all knew that once Thanksgiving meal was done. So I started doing Thanksgiving dinner earlier. So I did Thanksgiving brunch pretty much. And that's kind of sort of where I've kept it at. So when they had other things to do or Thanksgiving dinners with other families or, you know what I mean? Um, cause they got boyfriends and then they got married and then, so they all had other obligations. Um, so that was mine. My Thanksgiving was because um, my kids were home. And that is when I put it up. This year was no different. Um, sicker than a dog again, because my granddaughter had the endovirus. And she pleasantly surprised me with it too. And I, it took me a week and a half to fight it off. And then a week went by. Then I was totally okay. It was wonderful. And then I got this another virus that she had. So, so I won Forbidden Fibers, Fight Like a Girl. This was probably the coolest win ever. Some women, some women are lost in the fire and some women are built from it. Amen. Amen. And not only did I get the pattern, I got the floss to go with it. I'll show you those really fast. Check these out. These are Fibrin Fiber Flosses. This one? What? So cool. This is on my 2022 list. Definitely. So not only did she give me that, um, or not only did I win that, she shipped it. I got a pin. Talking about Fight Like a Girl. So that's kind of cool. I'm probably going to make it into a, it is a pin. I'll probably make it into a needle minder. And then I got fabric to stitch it on. So let me check that out really quick for you. So when I see when I see the fight like a girl symbol, I used to do relay for life in Kodiak all the time, and that was ours. Um, we've had to, I've been in a couple groups. Um, sticking it to cancer was one of the groups I created, and then um, because I can, was my friend Julie's group, and we've all done it together for a very long time. This one is called Rose Petal by Forbidden 
or uh, Forbidden Fibers. Check this out. Oh, it's coming up true. Isn't that cool? It's like this pinkish. It's perfect. I cannot wait to stitch on this. This is so beautiful. So yeah, I got that also. So thank you, Jan. This was really fun. Listening to everybody's comments was even more amazing. And I just, it was, it was such a great, it was such a great thing to watch over. And I was sick. So again, these are the things that were really wonderful to watch while I was sick. And still kind of participate in. So, all right. So believe it or not, I still have more. And this is the most haul I think I've ever had in my entire life. So, this was a stitch along I was supposed to do with somebody. I never did start it because I've been sick this whole time. But I still purchased it. I think I purchased it on Etsy. I can post it down below. I'm actually going to do this two separate ways. I'm going to do one as a whole advent calendar. And then I'm going to do each and every single one of these as an ornament. So you're going to probably see this in 2022 mostly. Um... But yeah, because like, I don't, there's everything, the snow globe, where's the snow globe? I thought there was a snow globe on here. It just made me happy. Oh, it's right here, yep. There's a snow globe. Like, who wouldn't love a snow globe? So who are they going to go to? Hmm. I don't know. But I am doing it this year. Um, it is coming. I'm going to move all my other stuff over one. So I do have a lot of digital patterns that I've also picked up this year. One of them is the, um, let me look in here real quick. I'll do both of them. So I did the um, Guardian of the Woods by the Witchy Stitcher. Let me post it right here. There isn't anything I don't love about this pattern. Um, the Guardian of the Woods is so cool. I've actually had my eye in this pattern for quite some time. But it wasn't until somebody, I can't even give you credit because I don't remember who did it because again I told you I watched too many floss tubes I don't even know if I actually saw it on floss tube I don't even know anybody who's stitching it at the moment maybe I just came across it but um, oh sorry that was like one of those epiphany moments like oh a squirrel huh. so in September my husband and I celebrated 15 years and honestly, to tell you the truth, I think 15 years in any marriage and you still like each other and you still plan on doing things together is always a, a blessing in disguise. Um, my husband and I have been married for 15 years and he surprised me with a, a trip. Hence the reasons why I'm coming up on this witchy stitcher um, sal that's going on. Uh, we went on a Bigfoot expedition. No, we didn't see him. But we did hear some things that were a little unusual. So, with that being said, we are, we'll be back out. So, you may hear about some of those adventures later on. Um, just because it's fun, my husband and I do things differently. We don't always do the same things. We don't go to a restaurant. We don't do, I think next year I'm going to surprise him with a hot air balloon trip. We'll see. Um, we might still be hiking, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But, um, the Witchy Stitcher also has a cryptid, um, cell that's happening. One of the reasons why I wanted to do it was because she had Bigfoot in there. Um, she also has some things that I've totally believed in for many, 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 many years. The Loch Ness Monster. Um, I can't think of any of them off the top of my head, but... So, you're going to see that in 2022. You're going to see it. Um, the reasons why I'm bringing that up is because I have a couple fabrics that I'm playing with that I'm wondering if I can make it work. One of them would be this. This one is called Mash. Monster Mash. This one's called Monster Mash. I freaking love this thing. Check it out. So, I may or may not work with this one. We will see. It's a 32 count. 36 count. So, I don't know how... I'm going to do a floss toss with this today. Check it out. Like, how cool! To me, this would be like the perfect color. It's not coming out as greeny-greeny. 
Like it's really, it's almost like an almost neon green. This is cool. Um, or got these, I also got this one just in case. Um, ooh, this is like a, it's not as blue. This is not blue, blue. It's got some, let me see if I can open it up and make the center of it look a little. Nope, it's definitely not coming up. So this is more like a teal blue, but the marbling I thought was very cool on it. Um, I don't know, I'm going to do a floss toss. Well, I might post it on Instagram, let you guys vote and see what you guys think about it because it's cool. I love it. And I just think that, and I think these are all picture this plus. So I also did um, get this one. I, I want to say it was for a project, but I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one is called Cribrium. I don't know. But again, here's the same color that I told you I love. It doesn't, I can't leave that on the shelf. I just can't. And then this one, which just caught my eye, is called Edinburgh. Highland Edinburgh. And I am a huge fan of like Downtown Abbey. So any kind of, anytime I see, that's kind of cool right there. Anytime I kind of see stuff like this, I just, I usually get it for the name. I'm not going to lie. So, I bought some perforated paper for the sleds. There you go. Cut it down myself. And then, to work on my next year's goals, which I had to purchase a couple of these, which I will be coming back, I just want you to know, um, with at the end of, right before January starts, I'm going to come back with my plans. Maybe some more haul, who knows. Um, but the Cricut, or um, not the Cricut collection, but Sony Creek had something that I really needed. It goes in, it, it's in my haul because I didn't have it yet. Actually, this one, the reasons why is because I purchased it for this one. So here we go. There's January. This will be a January start. Sammy Saint Stitchers is doing a this and that. This will be my this. So that's going to be for January. And I didn't have February. And I really want, I want to do every single month. And I don't think I have, I probably have something for this one. So February was one of them. Or maybe I'll even do a repeat. Maybe February, I think February needs something like, I don't want to say hardish, but maybe it needs something like pinkish. I don't know. And of course, I cannot pass up anything. I could stay on the Stony Creek website forever and purchase everything from Stony Creek, but I couldn't pass up ornaments. I've been trying to work on some serious ornaments over the last... I picked out a few that I just absolutely want to do, but it's hard to show them on here because the patterns are underneath them too. So, but check out the gnome. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't love a gnome? Well, you guys might not like gnomes, but I... I can't pass him. Check him out. I think I'm gonna stitch him anyway and make him sit outside, sit in my house until like March, till spring's supposed to be here, right? I don't know. I absolutely love it. I love everything about them. Um, so it's a good possibility you'll see this one coming up in the next quite a few videos. And of course, I couldn't pass this one up. This was um, the annual gift. My husband loves doing that would be so cool. Believe it or not, I have this pattern. I do believe I purchased it when it was free. You know when they have their free month by month. But you know what I really was looking at this. This was cute, and the reasons why I picked this one out is because I've been watching um, Cheryl, and Cheryl did an older video. Um, Cheryl McKinney. Uh, she did an older video where she did something similar to this and she did the cross stitch stuff that goes in it and I was like how cool and then I saw that and I was like I think I need to do that I'm not going to say it'll get done but here's just let's see if I can get how cool is that 
and I love quilts, so this is just something that I could really see myself doing. I'm just really, and I don't have very many Thanksgiving things. That's why, really, after when I was going on the hunt for all my things that I really wanted to do, I noticed that I really didn't have a lot of Thanksgiving things. So of course I went through magazines, and after the okay, I was just I was just a rabbit hole. It was a rabbit hole, and um, I think her name is. I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna mess it up. Oh, she enabled this. Oh, I actually didn't even know about this person, but her name is Barbarella Barbarell Creations, and um, she's on floss. Not Barbarella's on floss tube, but the floss tuber, who I will put here because I obviously can't remember her name now, which is so ridiculous because I watch her. She's definitely one of the people that I watch almost every time that you see a thing come up. and it, you know. So she got me onto this. I saw this floss and was like, I need it in my life. I'm going to show you the two that... So this one is called Violet. And you can find Barbarella on Etsy. And she also does an Instagram too, I do believe. But I just love this floss. Do I know what to do? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This one is called Hollyberry. And then this one is called Silver Snow. Oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous floss. Check that out. Oh my word. But the one that... I should have ordered like six of these. This one's called Black Cherry. Oh, and you can't even see it. Oh, there you go. A little bit of it. This is variegated. I love 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 this I think it's Colorado girl and Colorado world I don't ever I'm totally messing it up anyway y'all watch her she's she's wonderful to watch she finishes like so much stuff um and starts so much stuff I don't even know how the hell she has time in the day not gonna lie I don't know how I have no clue so Check out her Etsy shop. She has some of the most beautiful flosses. And honestly, to tell you the truth, it didn't even take very long. Um, I do believe she's in... Um, uh, I'm not actually 100% sure. Wait over there. Um, but, here, take her, her stuff here. Her stuff, if you want to write it down. Super fast shipping. She was super nice. She emailed me everything else. Oh my gosh. Immense. I was, I couldn't even. Now my next thing that I have is um, from Annabella's. She also is on Etsy. Um, I'll do a shameless. Look at this. Such cuteness. Cute, cute, cute. You, if you haven't heard about it, you're probably going to because I think this is going to be like one of the hot. So many people are stitching this already. Um, it's called The Year in the Woods. It's called The Fox. I am going to stitch this all on one. And this is probably going to my grandson. When I get done with this video, I'm pulling all the stuff. I do not believe... Where... Do I think I'm just going to use DMC flosses on this? Um, I don't know. If I don't, then I'll just see another order. Because I really, I, don't, I love this. Jessie Marie Does Stuff um, started this already. And it's so stinking cute. I did purchase the fabric for it. That's that one big old piece of fabric um, that I am going to do it on. So it's going to be stitched all on one. But again, you don't know what the other ones look like because you have to order them each month. So, we'll have to wait and see. Super nice. I've talked to her. She was really, really super, super, super nice. So, I really enjoyed that. Um, another thing I got. Um, I don't actually remember. I don't think. I just think I've seen this before and I loved it. Um, it's from Barbara Anna uh, Designs. It's called Let It Snow. There you go. That's so beautiful. I just like all of it. That's like just cool to me. 
So that's from Keep Six to Tree. Um, super, super nice. Also gave me a free pattern for December, which was really cool. Um, I can't kind of show it to you because uh, it was a surprise series from 2004, which was really cool. I mean, because I can't show it to you because there's no photo. Literally. Yep, there. Yep, can't see anything, so that was good. So another thing, Cherry Hill Stitchery did a Autumn Wish, which I'll put right here because it's digital. Um, very, very cool. I really love this. Um, cannot wait to stitch it. Will it be 2022? I'm not 100% sure. Could be. Who knows? I have a lot of plans for 2022. Um, another from Cherry Hill Stitchery was a Cup of Cheer, which I'll put right here too. Um, this one I'm going to blame Sam Bree for because I've seen it on her channel a couple times. Um, I finally just dove in and just did it. It's not normally what I normally do, but I do find it really cute and I really want to decorate my house when I finally get it. Each one of my homes is, uh, each one of my rooms in my home are going to be decorated a little differently. One will might be Grinchy, one might be like this with hot cocoa and have ice skates and stuff like that. This is totally right up my alley and really something I'd like to incorporate in my room when I finally get my house. I miss having a house. This thousand square foot apartment with four people, three adults and a baby. It's very difficult. Anyway, um, I also purchased Halloween this way. I've seen this at least, oh, well, I've seen it a dozen times or more. Um, is by Primitive Hair, which I'll be right up here too. Um, very cool. I really, really, really love, um, love this and we'll, we'll do it again or we'll do it. Um, will I do it this year? Mm, I don't know. Um, I actually don't believe I have any haul hanging out there. Um, minus the fact of, like I told you that one, four, three, two braid for number four braid for my reindeers. I really wanted to finish another reindeer this year, but unless I get it an email saying that it's going to be like coming anytime soon, it's not going to happen. I also remember telling you guys in May, I could have probably told you in a previous video, um, which I probably did, that my grandmother, the one that I went to her funeral in May, is the one who taught me to stitch. And she did. And I told you about this unbelievable project that in my head was massive and huge and and well I went to my Aunt Tammy when I was staying there and I said Aunt Tammy I said I did a cross stitch project for grandma like many many moons ago I think I was 14 I might have been younger no 11 and I said I was a pegasus or a unicorn or something I, I, I vividly in my brain and she goes yeah, I think I've seen that. She goes, it's in the bin for the second hand store because I don't even know where it came from. My heart sank. And then she went and helped me. I went to go help dig and lo and behold, you I wouldn't believe it, but the second hand bin thing hadn't happened yet, thank God, because I might have gone there myself. It's still framed the exact same way. I did have to take off a few years of dust off the frame, but... I would be more than happy to share it with you guys. So, this should tell you how old it is. Professionally framed. I think it was 11. I worked hard for this. And here you guys go. There's my Pegasus. And I will tell you the stitching in this thing is not the greatest. Don't look at something you did like many, many moons ago. I do have this hanging on my wall. Um... I will just say that learning on black fabric and it's looks like it's 14 count. I won't be critical of myself, but my stitching now, I've seen, I've seen half stitches in here that are not even complete. Where is it? Where'd it go? There's one right there. It's right by my nail. It's not even complete, people. It's not even done. <laughs> Um, but you know what, this holds, this holds a lot in my heart, and, um, to know that my grandmother has kept it all these years, um, and then it made me think about my grandfather, I made my grandfather a, his, his nickname was Red, and I made him a red blanket, I crocheted him a red blanket, 
Oh my goodness, that thing took forever. And I actually dawned on me the other day, and I should get a hold of my Aunt Tammy and be like, Aunt Tammy, Grandpa had a red blanket. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know if we'll do that or not, but... Um, so I think that wraps it up. If you have stayed with me this whole time, thank you so much. Um, if you're just finding me, and you stayed with me this whole time, with this scratchy voice and all the chaos that I've and stewed on you today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I am planning on coming back next week. I have lots of plans for this next year. I'm planning on touching every whip I own. That's like 67. I think I counted 67. 68 with the new one I just started. Could be 70 by the time I New Year starts. Who knows? Um, it probably will be. I will be doing Whip Go 2022. Probably not as strenuous as that one was. I, I really put myself in a tight bond, obviously, with my life. Life gets in the way. If you stop, life gets in the way. Life gets in the way. It's okay. Um, I am doing semi-sane stitchers because, honestly, when I was with them, I didn't do as much with them this year. Um, I have noticed that I stitch immense and I, I stitch with people who obviously stitch because I love stitching um I do believe I'm going to also do some magical stitches this year not enough to stress myself out but again it's just for me to touch all my all my pieces um some of these pieces I haven't touched since 2018 um so I really want and I have some even old oh you wait every month you're going to get a whip parade of whatever I've stitched over the last four or five years and or later which you're gonna see um, and I'll try if there's a lot you'll probably start getting weekly updates because it starts getting so crazy with all the things that you have um, like literally the stacks I had today alone were enough to to make me crazy and I really like to keep things updated and moving and then I can put things away and yeah so now I have to kind of go through all my stuff and figure out where things were supposed to go and where they weren't supposed to go and and maybe start stitching. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's it's just kind of like one of those things. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you have made it this far, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, I, I'm for you. I'm with, I'm with, I think it's, already passed. I'm actually not 100% sure. I'm not up on all that. But um, whatever you do, you and I hope it's wonderful. Spend it with your family. Enjoy the time with your family and your friends and stay healthy unlike me. Hopefully, hopefully I'll find more healthier days in the weeks coming up. Um, I think our plans are to, next week, enjoy it. My daughter is leaving with my granddaughter for four days. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. I might get a lot of stitching done. We'll see. Um, and then celebrate the new year. I will not tell you how 2022 is going to turn out because I was really excited for 2021. And it's kind of been the toilet bowl. I'm not going to lie. Um, I will pray for all of us for 2022. <laughs> I'm just leave it there. Um, again, thank you for joining me. Um, you're going to start seeing a little few more photos of what I've done while I'm on because honestly, that's my life. I love doing photography. I like getting out. You might see some hiking photos. You might see some whatever. It might sum up my week and I won't bore you too much with my own personal stuff from week to week depending on the time. Um, so with that... Eat, drink, and be merry. Happy stitching.